and switch back to OBS. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody, to Hamburg Bulldogs Esports. I'm your host, Emmett Simonson. And I'm Nate Johnson. Today we have an awesome matchup against uh, Bo High in New Hampshire. See, I wrote it down today. So, Up first, we're going to have Sage. Right now, we're just waiting on the other team to get into the arena with us. Um, Sage is going to be going off with Incineroar. Incineroar is a rather new character for Sage. He's usually more of a Sephiroth kind of guy, so um, I don't like oh. Sage. <laughs> uh, Sephiroth? What's that? He's the anime guy. With like the, the white hair and the giant sword. Oh, is he from Final Fantasy? Yes, yes he is. How do you He's know? He's on the cover. Maybe. On the, I think the newest one, he's on the cover. I mean, he is the final boss, I think, isn't he? Spoilers. Then who do you play as? Huh? Who do you play you as? You play as Cloud. Oh, uh, who's Cloud? Oh. The other anime hair guy. What does he look like? The spiky hair with, like, the weird sword. That did not help at all. Um, anything yet? Uh, so right now we're just waiting on the uh, other team to pick a map, ban a map, so we can get into the game as fast. So um, we're just kind of waiting. Mm -hmm. So Sage, how you doing? Are you excited for the match today? Um, yeah, small talk doesn't work. No, it doesn't. Oh, oh, this just in. They banned Smashville for their first map. And Sage is going to ban Battlefield and, and Pokemon Stadium 2. Look at, we have so many notes here. It's a lot of math. It's not my notes, it's Mr. Woods. I know. Right, you don't so take notes. Sage's band. So they're, pick, they're picking the final map now. They're using the texting app for esports, Play VS. It's an incredible app that works so well all the time. No. <laughs> I gotta beat this tournament, bro. I got one more chance. What deck are you using? Bam, bam, bam. So Sage is still waiting for the enemy team to pick the map. Um, oh, this just in. They're taking out FD. What's that one? They're playing on. That's the flat one that looks really cool. Who's streaming on? OBS. What's the channel? I think it's Bulldog Esports Gaming. What was it? Um, small Battlefield. So it's like this one, but smaller. Because it's small. They call that F. What? No, 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 no. That's FD because you can you can read it too. So, yeah, like no, FD, but... PS2, Smashville. Battlefield has three platforms. Small Battlefield. Okay, so we have a heavy matchup, which is really good for Sage because if he gets uh, Incineroar's down B, it's pretty much an insta kill for uh, Sage here. So he's just looking to see what looking for Bowser's weakness right now. I'm assuming looking for an opening like that down B from that Bowser. Oh wait, he's not Bowser? No, he's... Oh my bad. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, a lot of people here play Bowser. Like including two. you. Wait, there's like two people. Well, I don't play it, so I don't know. I don't... I haven't played everybody in this. Well, you can kind of observe. I'm too busy watching shows in the back. What I was just doing. What are you watching? Daredevil. So Sage is looking for a... Uh, a revenge down B. So basically what that means is when Incineroar gets a down B. It... Hey, he just teabagged. <laughs> That's not cool, man. It bows with another missed forward smash. He's not doing super good with his F smashes, but he really needs to look for combos in order to take Sage out here. But 
Sage's down B, if he can get it, it basically does a little bit of damage back to the Bowser, and it charges yeah. up his revenge meter. So when Incineroar has any kind of revenge, I believe it's his smash attacks and his side B that do extra damage and not back. So you can end up killing somebody at 20% for no reason. What? I was talking to you. I was not paying attention. And Sage missed the revenge side B. I don't know if that was on purpose or on accident, but hopefully he can do something about that here. So he still has revenge. You can tell when Incineroar has revenge because of how his arms go. And he missed it again. Sage is really acting strange. I don't know if he's trying to disrespect him or not. Sage going for the three stock. Misses the spike. Nice recovery. Bowser did not do anything about that. Another missed forward smash from Bowser. Another one. And that's an F tilt to finish the game. Three stock from Sage. Good job, Sage. And down the line from us. And down the line, Lisa, Lisa won a game um. over there, so... I guess that's pretty good. I, I think that's excitement screaming. I hope so. I do too. Oh wait, not yet. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, this just in for the second game. No, not yet, because he didn't win it yet. He didn't win the set yet. Oh, I forgot it was a set. All right, they're taking out Yoshi Story and Town and City because they are objectively the worst maps on this list. So these two? Yeah. You, you have a job. You can read. So proud. How do, how do you feel about that? that? You can read. You feel pretty good, I'm guessing. Right? You can read the, the maps. Right, so. No, I'm not that stupid. So we're just waiting on the other team to give us a map of their banning. So hopefully they don't ban something that Sage wanted to play. Or hopefully they're picking the map. What map would you like to play, Sage? Yeah, Sage, tell us. What, what map do you want to play as an Incineroar? I feel like the best map would probably be small battlefield or Nest 2 just because I feel like the I'm sure they probably heard none of that because you're on this side of the microphone. Yeah. So um, he said that he wanted to pick PS2. Good. Yeah, small battlefield and PS2 because they have two platforms instead of three, and because Incineroar is not very mobile of a character, because he's slow. Um, slowest character in the game. Actually. Bowser's not the slowest. Bowser's one of the fastest. Look it up. Look it up right now. Fastest character in Smash, or like top ten characters that are fast. There's 80, so it, fine. It's fine. But Sage said he wanted to pick PS2 or Small Battlefield because of the two platforms, and also the blast zone is a little closer to the screen, so it takes less to kill people, too. Characters in Smash Ultimate. Right right there. I wasn't looking down. Sonic. No, a top 10. Oh, my gosh. I saw the top four. He's not in the top 10 now, oh is he? Oh, my. He's 22nd out of 80. That's pretty fast. No, don't nah. debate that. That's really fast. Who's the, who's the lowest? Yeah, Bowser's the heaviest character. In the game. <laughs> yeah, Incineroar is the slowest character in the game. Where's Steve? He's pretty low, I think. Rob. Oh, they're on regular Battlefield this game, so not exactly what Sage wanted. So hopefully... Uh, so it's another Bowser. He changed. He changed uh, Bowser. Oh, Steve's so. 78. Wow. Yeah, Steve is slow. I told you so. So I still pooped on Elliot. Yeah, not me. I have beat. Yeah. When you're using right, someone. Bowser that going for an with. early shield break on Sage with his down beat. That breaks the shield. Him yeah, if it's sitting on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's terrifying. Spike into an up smash. That was a. Good combo from Sage. Oh, never mind. So um, Bowser's up B is actually super good because if you hit shield with, if Bowser's holding his shield, you hit it. He can actually drop his shield immediately and use his up B and just get a free little bit of damage. Which is like super that. Nice. Yeah. Sage got some up airs. 
And Sidora's down throws is actually one of the, his best combo starters. So it combos into many, many different ways. So Bowser just seems to be doing his... Um, Did he suicide? Yeah. Bowser went with a, a Bowser side kill on um, his second stock, which usually is an inter it is an interesting strategy because Bowser dies first when he goes off stage like that. So it's a little confusing as to why he did that. But indeed it is. Indeed it is. All right, Sage with the oh, and that's the game. Did he play volleyball? Yeah. Threw him up against the ropes like the champion wrestler he is, and executed him. So. That's the revenge for you. Killed Bowser super, super early. Kind of ridiculous in my opinion, but it's in a solid character. Good job, Sage. Do you want to do a post-game interview? Well, are they going to do a third game? Uh, it's only two for them. Um, they're probably not going to do a third game. Yeah, I know, but sometimes they just do it for fun <laughs> or so they can have something. All right, uh, All right. Uh, uh, I'll just I head out of frame here. Uh, okay. Come on in here, so how'd you feel about your performance last game? Uh, the last game, I just he was definitely just wanting to just like end it there, just kind of because he just he want I think what he wanted to do is he wanted to get the so we both died on the first stock and they just wanted to get it to the last stock just because he would be have a better chance. Yeah. But so you think he just did it? Ju he did it on purpose, is what you're yeah. saying, so yeah. that he could have a better chance of. Hopefully getting some lucky F smash. Yeah. You you had it on lock that game. There was a couple missed spots that you could have done a little better, but I yeah I thought um, when you had when he was just throwing up smashes out left and right yeah. when you had that revenge on that was yeah. that was very good. It was, yeah, it was good. Well, exciting match as usual. Yep. Um, thank you for playing, and we will see you in three weeks. Yep. Dream again. Wow, you're fine. Okay, so now we have Aiden, and they have banned the maps. So they've banned Battlefield, Smashville, and Pokemon Stadium too, which means we have FD and Small Battlefield left. Uh, Aiden, what map do you want to play on? So Aiden's saying that he wants to go to Final Destination instead of Small Battlefield. Um, he's not sure who he's playing yet, but we'll see in just a second. What? So this just in, uh, they are playing FD. So it is. Um, so Aiden's going Dark Pit, which is a very interesting. I'm, I'm not going against many Dark Pits, but I know that. With Dark Pit, he has an arrow that he can kind of control a little bit in the air. So it's like Yandu? We're going to go, yeah. If you drew the connection, it's got to be right. So. <laughs> an interesting up air from Sora leading to a little little hit from Aiden over there. Let's see what he can do with that. So Sora is just, I think he's just throwing out moves. Aiden's looking for a good little combo from Sora. Sora has a nice um, counter that comes out quick. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's a good way to get out of a jam. So if you're stuck in a combo. But. So Sora is the new, the newest character in the Smash Bros. roster. I believe he's the 85th, 87. Look it up. I'm, I'm busy right now. Oh, okay, fine. But Sora is a light character who has really weird jumps. So what Aiden's trying to do there is... He's trying to get an arrow up there because if he, if he's up in the top of that screen there at that high percent, if that arrow hits him, he he's he's gone. <laughs> so, Sora's looking for something here. He doesn't really know what to do, I believe, and Aiden's just ripping him apart. And the homie stock from Aiden. So what that means is when. Um, if your other opponent SDs or self-destructs in the game, a lot of people will do a homie stock where they 
jump off the stage to make it a little more even because it was an accident. So it's it's a sign of respect. Some people don't do them. Some people do. Aiden did. So good so job on being Aiden. respectful. Yeah. After ripping him apart. Okay. Um, so Aiden has to get something going here on Sora just to finish off this game. It's two to one stocks. And. Okay. I told Aiden that was kind of lame. He didn't even like do the red explodey screen. He just died. He he didn't do it cool. That was yeah. That was not cool at all. That was super boring. Sad. So, I mean, he won. He did win. So good job for you, Aiden. I'm so proud. But he won in a really boring way, and it, it kind of hurt to watch. Oh, Aiden switching his character. Ooh. Um, he's going with a Ridley pick now. We usually don't see that a lot. <laughs> Ridley is not a. Uh, a lot of people don't call him a, a top tier character. So basically, people say he he's really really bad. I don't. But know uh, who when it he's is. when he's in the hands of Aiden, it's, really, um, really it's, good. it's, it's the force to be reckoned with. Um, mm. Aiden is mm. one of the best players on our team here at Hamburg. This guy was using Hog Cycle. Oh, right, was you want me to search up? Uh, what? It's what number character is Sora? Boy, so Ridley number. has. Um, if Aiden can get this, I'll never call him lame again. If he can get a uh, a down beat, how do you Ridley, spell it? Sora. S O R A. Sora. In Smash Ultimate. That's so sad. He's 82nd. I was not close. Well, no, I was. I was three off. Who's who's the newest? Sora. He's the last character too. So they're going against the Pyra Mithra, which is an interesting, interesting choice. Pyra Mithra is, is two characters, which is annoying because they can switch. Oh, I remember fighting two characters. Those little ice goblins. No, the ice goblins. I don't know what their name was, but yeah, I, I believe hate they're called climbing. Ice Climbers. Dude. Yeah, they are. Is that so, a dragon? That's Ridley. Who's who? So, the thing with Pyra is she just hits really, really hard. She doesn't have, like, any combos. Her, oh, wow. An early kill for... Um, I mean, at least she's not teabag. From Shane. Um... Yeah, that's that's Pyra's whole gimmick is that she has a, does a lot of damage really fast. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, one thing that was shown off when she was revealed to be a character in this game was her forward smash. I believe it could kill at twenty percent fully charged, like in the middle of the stage. What? So basically, if she holds down forward smash, they die. Hmm. Nice. So the other thing about Pyra slash Mithra. Is um, they're two characters, so. I feel so bad. What happened? They're just spamming their. Did you not watch it? No. So what just happened there is I saw both of them die. See that? Um, Aiden knocked his Mithra off the stage and just just proceeded to. It was a suicide kill, unfortunately, but he just went straight into it. And execute. It, it was it was horrible. Aiden looking for the pin. If he can get it, I'll have so much respect for him, and I'll never call him lame. Because if he doesn't kill him with something cool this game, he's lame. He missed it again, and that's a back air to finish the game. I mean, it was all right. Are you still gonna call him lame? I mean, the upbeat was just fine. It was it was it, the, that upbeat was pretty good, I guess. But a back air that's so basic. Very, very good game from Aiden here. Two games. That's it. Uh, Aiden, come in for the post-game interview. And I'm gone. Oh wait, I gotta change Preston's thing really quick. All right, Preston is up on deck. Who? Preston. Up in the camera. So, uh, Aiden, oh. how'd you feel about your recent performance, even if it was a little lame? 
Ow. I could not have been lamer than that pyramidra. However, I feel pretty good about it. Feel pretty good. My upbeat off stage, I felt great. I, I did appreciate that. I like, thought it was. You didn't I thought get, it was funny. You didn't get the pin, so I'm still gonna call you lame. Yeah, my bad. Um, so. But if I'm gonna get the pin, it's gotta be enough. Yeah, at least it. At least it was. At least it was. Uh, you got that upbeat, which was a little, was good enough a little disrespectful, me. but you. No, that's a kill it, 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 uh, it was a. Uh, well, it canceled out your uh, homie stock. Really, it was like pen dust. <laughs> but um, <laughs> don't don't good don't good game all around. Around. So, so, good game all around. Yeah. Of course, so, um, of course. I'm anything you need to work on? Anything what? Anything you need to work on? That I need to work on? Yeah. Yeah, my Ridley, it's a little rusty. I didn't practice it today. I, I could tell when you got <laughs> you got murdered. I had to, I had to uh, download him in the first time. Oh, yeah, you just let him uh, you know, I had to, I had to rough you up a little. Yeah, had to finish I, installing I, the update. I, I it's pretty slow. I understand. Yeah. Get out of here. All right. Pleasure talking to you. What I got to do is every time. Well, I'm too lazy to move, so I guess I'm too lazy to move. All right, Preston, just trying to get the 3-0 here. Let's see what he can do for Hamburg today. Starting off with a Bowser. See, he I'm plays Bowser. Preston, looking, looking like he's going to do good today. I don't, um, I believe he's going to be going against, I don't know who he's going to be going against. I hope he's going against Goat. I want him to face Goat. Nope. Oh, my God. We have a Pac-Man. Pac-Man is... There is no in between. It's a I mean, no. But um, Pac-Man is a really scary character, especially when you don't know who it is. Oh, that is so uncomfortable to look at. Oh, is that the that's yeah. That is uncomfortable to look at. So uh, technical difficulties. We have a variant FD. Yeah, I'm winning anyway. We have one already. So, um, anyway. because this is a kind of just like a for fun match, there's. <laughs> that was a really impressive recovery from Pac Man. Putting his trampoline out and then side being into his trampoline and then landing right into um, Preston's forward smash, which kind of ended his whole career. Let's see what Preston can make of that now that he has an early stock lead. Throwing out back here is looking for something forward or a dash attack. A down air onto a platform. Not the smartest thing I've ever seen. No offense, Preston. Get up attack, putting Pac Man off stage. And. Um, an interesting recovery option from Pac Man going from the bottom of the stage to the top. Let's see uh, if that is going to pay out for him. So. Preston's looking for a three stock now. One of Bowser's is that best a bomb? Moves. No, that's a fire hydrant. Are you blind? All right. So one of Bowser, two of Bowser's best aerial attacks are his forward air and his neutral air. Because neutral air lasts for a while and his forward air just is giant. So um, Pac-Man pulling off the key to victory there. A nice little parry from Preston. Let's see what he can get there. Let's see if he can get a back air or something. Um, is Preston going to... How is he going to finish this game? Is he going to do a forward smash? Oh, is he going to Bowser side? Let's see what he's going to do. Forward smash from Batman... Or, Batman? Batman for smash! Make fun of me. <laughs> You're stupid. Right, Preston, Preston takes game one. Yeah, I at take, what cost? At what cost? Uh, Preston took out Batman game one. I'm just committing to it. Um, so I believe he's going to stay Bowser. Uh, Preston is not staying Bowser. I lost. Good. Maybe you should pay attention to me. Bro, how was I? I tried, man. That's why I lost. Good. Just stop playing on your phone, bro. Right. Mommy's gonna take one of your home. That's your fault. Yeah, that's my fault. All right, uh, Preston, go to Palutena. Uh, my least favorite character in this game to play and play against. I don't like Palutena. No. Oh. Oh, 
little bonus I ain't bonus extra. That, um, they're gonna do a Ditto match, a Ditto, sure. Ditto Bowser match after uh, after Ditto, Preston wins the second game. Huh? Ditto. Yes, that's actually where it comes from. Because in the Pokemon games, Ditto um, takes the form of whatever Pokemon he is. A up little against. little poop in the ground. Yeah, a little purple dude. No, no, no. The poop one is Diglett. Oh. I'm gonna and then get the, the, so the, much hate. And then the three poops is Doug Trio. Yeah, I knew that. How did you not know Diglett? Like, I don't know what happened. Ours is on normal. Shut up. Shut up. But Ditto is the purple blob. That, um. Here, I'll show you a picture of him. I know what he looks like. I don't know. I don't think you do. I, I really, do. I really don't I do. think you do. I do. Ditto. I do. I don't think you do. I do. Here, he looks like this. He's he looks like, like gooey. This. Yeah, yeah I he knew looks it. like that. This isn't that smart. Do you think it'll show up on the camera? Look like that. We <laughs> that's, know. That's Ditto. It's like it is showing up. You, you can see that. That's Ditto. But um, so yeah, that's where the Ditto match comes from. Because in the game, he has a move called Transform, where he just kind of takes the form of whatever Pokemon he's up against. I don't. I you you are a real pain in my butt. <laughs> Uh, maybe you should just stop playing Palutena, the my least favorite character in the game. <laughs> Why is she so bad? Lots of excitement uh, down the line from everybody. Uh, Bubblegum Greninja against the Palutena. Let's see what Preston can do here. He should have gone for a uh, up smash or something. But, uh, Dash attack, pop him up in the air. So Greninja walked into that side B. Um, a neat thing about Palutena's forward smash is that it has a wind box. So if you miss the forward smash, it uh, knocks him back a little bit because of the wings. Why do you, why do you hate me? <laughs> I'm too tired to understand. Should I start talking backwards and then you'll understand it? They just sound like a cracked up baby. Now let's see what uh, Palutena. It just hurts. It's just they're just flailing their arms. At, oh, a side beat from Greninja, which is one of uh, the most. <laughs> So an easy, an easy stock from a uh, miserable counter from Greninja. Let's see what. Uh, let's see what Preston can do here. Nothing. Nothing. Dies. We're even again, except for eight percent. Greninja's side B is just awful. It's, I believe it's called Shadow Sneak. That's what I call it. So basically, in Sm in Smash and Pokemon, it just he kind of puts a shadow on the ground mostly it's for Smash Bros. Oh. Did did he kill himself? Yeah, yeah, he did. Oh man, is Danny DeVito dead? No. If he was, I'd be crying. I think everyone. Would. But, um, See that on the news with the shrine in the back of a Walmart bathroom? <laughs> yeah, that was an actual thing. Yeah, I know. All right, Preston can go for the two stock here because he lost his third stock. An interesting counter from Greninja. Not really sure what was going through. And an up smash. All he needs is one more up smash or anything. Oh, see, there's that wind box coming in handy, keeping the Greninja away. What's wind box? I just explained it to you. It's when you don't hit the move, and it's like it's like a normal hitbox, but it just pushes away. It goes. <sighs> see, I just wind boxed you, and this is a hitbox. See? Oh, Preston won. Good job, Preston. Uh, Palutena's lame, and boo, Palutena. Boo, Palutena. Boo, Palutena. Boo, Palutena. Boo, Palutena. Boo Palutena. Boo Palutena. Mm. Say Boo Palutena. Boo. Yeah. Boo Palutena. I don't know who I'm even booing. I, I don't even know. Is that like... Wait, was it the woman that looked like Jesus Christ? Yes. Oh, um, yeah, Woman? 
Jesus on me, for I have sinned. Uh, so their Bowser player on their team wants to fight Preston in a Bowser Ditto. I already explained Ditto matches, and I'm not doing it again. That's I, don't, I am not doing this again, Nathaniel. Don't call me Nathaniel. I'll call you what I want. No. You lose sight privileges. Small battlefield. Alright, Bowser did it on small small battlefield. Um, what is that mean? bonus coverage? Oh. Preston, you better not lose. Hold this on. Preston needs a Bowser to do it. Otherwise, I'm going to call him super lame and boring. I'm going to call, if, no if way, Preston bro, loses, I'm going to call Bowser? him boring. Yeah, Preston's going to be so boring no if he loses idea. this game. Like, so boring. Like, so boring, I'm going to fall asleep. All right, their Bowser's starting off with a down air from... So, um, Bowser's aerial moves are not the best unless it's his forward air or neutral air. His back air is really strong for kills, but not as much for kills. So it's, this is just basically a fight for, um, life. This is all about spacing, really. And he gave up. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus content over. <laughs> uh, it seems the Bowser player turned off his switch. <laughs> Oh, what a, what a sh- <laughs> So, uh, the Bowser player looked death in the eyes and, uh, he got out of there. I don't blame him. Uh, Preston's a force to be reckoned with on the same whole contest. Uh, well, it's a good game to the other, to uh, Bo High. And we will see everybody next week.